<sighs> What's up, Alex? Hey. Alex and I just made our Saturday morning Starbucks run. I thought I'd do a quick video to explain the last video. I thought I had kind of explained it, but I guess I didn't. Sometimes I have thoughts running through my head that don't make it out of my mouth. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, originally the owner brought up the idea of the concrete countertop in the pool house. And I said, sure, we can do that, but it's an art form. You know, no two concrete countertops are the same. You know, what you get is kind of what you get. And so he said, sure, I can deal with that. You know, I like that idea. And so we built the form and you can go back and look at the other concrete video. We actually, I actually show, you know, pouring concrete. And one of the first problems we ran into was that Home Depot kind of told me a fib. I called the one that's south of us because the, the Home Depot in our town, Chattanooga, doesn't carry the countertop mix. So I called them, they said yes, and I even looked, the, verified the number online. Anyway, they were supposed to deliver a 5,000 PSI countertop mix. It's, it's from Sackcrete, and what they actually delivered was a 5,000 PSI concrete from uh, Quickcrete, which did not have the plasticizers in it. You have to have the plasticizers in the concrete mix to make it flow. And if you look at one of my previous concrete uh, sample where we were doing the sample, uh, you can see when we poured it into the mold, the concrete was just oozed. You know, it just kind of flowed into the mold. But when we put this concrete in the mold, it just kind of sits there. Now you can use any concrete mix, any real concrete mix, uh, um, to make a concrete counter, but it's difficult because um, you can't put a lot of water in the mix in the first place in any concrete mix you shouldn't put too much water uh, whether it's for a driveway or whatever it is for you know it, it uh, it's not healthy for it anyway uh, I'm trying to keep this video short so I'm trying to rush through it so anyway we poured it uh, dry like you're supposed to in the mold and I vibrated it the best I could the forms the best I could but when we when we ground it, when we took the grinder to it, it, uh, it, it took the skim coat of Portland cement off the top and it opened up all the little pockets, air pockets uh, that were in it because it was a dry mix and it didn't have the plasticizers. So anyway, it was, so when you, when you feel it, it feels rough. Uh, so what I was gonna do was take a skim, what you do is you take a slurry mix and you, you put the slurry over it and then you grind it again and that slurry fills in all the little holes and then it feels makes it sm feel smoother but you can still see the aggregate. And I'm still gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna take, the, this afternoon I'll, I'll do a video, a good video, not with my stinking phone. And there goes the battery. Alex, can you hand me the cord? Um, uh, so I'll do that. And um, try to plug in the phone here. There we go. And I'll show you what the because I'm not the reason I say in the in the title of the previous video not so fast is because I'm going to finish the sample and I'm going to show him what it would have looked like really if I'd have had another couple of weeks <laughs> to to make it. And that's the only problem with the grinding and polishing and you have to have the time and the will to polish and grind and you know make it look good so anyway I think they decided they weren't going to be happy with the way it looked and so about four or five days ago we ordered the granite and they brought the granite today and put it in um, ironically or uh, while we were breaking up the old countertop so I thought it was kind of neat that they brought it while we were breaking up the the con but anyway, I'm I'm not going to consider it a failure necessarily uh, because I feel like I could have made it look really good. But I don't, I want the owner. the 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 main thing with me is the owner has to be happy, and and they were going to feel more uh, secure with their happiness. I think if we use the granite, so that's really the whole point. So if if I haven't explained it, um, but stay tuned because I am going to. Uh, finish the sample and uh, so that I can have it for future reference if I ever do have to use that mix again I'll know how to to work with it 
I'm probably going to buy some plasticizers and just keep them in the shop uh, just in case I have to use that concrete mix again and uh, that'll kind of solve a problem but honestly even if you use plasticizers and when you grind it sometimes you still end up with little air pockets uh, or gravels chip out or you know something it's it's one of those processes that's not perfect so when you grind concrete you still have the possibility that you're gonna have to use some little slurry mix here or there and you'll have to grind it again and make it it's just an imperfect process and uh, but in the end that's why it looks natural and uh, it looks good uh, to some people so anyway what do you think about all that Alex <laughs> anyway, I hope that explains it. Thanks, guys.